Well, hello, 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 and welcome. This is one of the Jewel Design, and we are here today with the last, I think, of our um, Autumn Milva Rose journal series. Is that sort of beginning to end ordeal? I say start to finish for the most part. So as you see, I've put a pretty peachy pink, um, not sorry, silk, crinkled ribbon, ribbon on this. And, um, cause it does need help keeping closed at times. So that'll be wrapped around it because it's fine here until I open it and I start playing with it. Then I realize the cover doesn't want to stay closed. Well, we ended up with our canvas, um, printable on Amazon packaging. We have corners, we have lace. I sewed this. I was able to get a little bit of sew here just to help finish off the front with a gorgeous topper of many items, um, shinies and meshes and tissue glitter trims you know the whole kit and caboodle i mean some spots you can see a little bit of the gold even you know glitter and whatnot so it's really pretty this is sort of a flip through but as we're getting through the pages we're going to fill in with the last of what may be necessary with our with this mosh podged um scrappy master board that we created right put it on cream colored cardstock so all the back needs is a little bit of, of, of um, inking, and it's a beautiful writable plate piece. So we have a lot of cluster here, and then we sort of have this open space. So in the end, if I absolutely have to, I'll have some planar pieces um, that I could throw things like really simply, you know, some florals or something on it. If I absolutely had to finish something off, you know, we've got ways to sort of deck it out um, to blend in. I have all kinds of fun things to add to it. It, it. So I'm not too worried about the plainness on this corner. This is definitely a lot of color and fall and beauty to just sort of eclectically de decor the rest of this. But we do have spots that need ephemera and I sort of ran out. I filled all the ephemera I had from the kit in here, as you'll see. And, you know, I, was, I, I had empty spaces or weird sizes or things that I needed. So we're today going to flip through this, cut, you know, measure, cut the pieces that we need to put in the slots and then I will probably then get you know, off camera, um, add a little bling or a little lace or a little something to um, tie it all together. And then, you know, there'll be pictures of course of everything at the end um, when I go to list the journal because it is already, you know, we're coming up on the 1st of October next Tuesday. And so this is Thursday afternoon for you guys. So it will be hopefully Thursday afternoon or Thursday evening when you see this. So, you know, it's almost done. I want to make sure that it can be listed, you know, on Monday the 30th or, the, or October the 1st, unless someone reaches out to me on Etsy ahead of time, then it can be a custom order. Um, but, you know, or custom purchase, I should say. But, you know, if someone claims it, let me know. Otherwise, um, I will definitely be putting it up in the Etsy shop as soon as I can, hopefully, you know, by the beginning of the week. But this is your sort of flip through of it. Um, the back is really simple. So it's the same stitch wear here, nice and clean here. I'm loving that we went with these more antique-y, ro dark rose gold, coppery, bronze, I don't know what you want to call them, but Tim Holtz, gotta love them. You know, and the little the little flowers that stick out right here, you know, not flowers, but leaves. It's just, it was really fun. I'm glad I did it. And I did tone down that blue ter version um, by inking over it a little bit. I did take my thing and go over it with some antique, um, you know, old fashioned, old vintage, whatever, um, ink, old paper, old vintage ink. And that sort of helped keep it from being so blue and it made all the difference in the world. It's hard to tell here. You wouldn't know it, but when you look at an original, this is toned down a little bit more yellow. So it, it made all the difference in the world and I'm loving it. So inside we have our pocket here. So we do any leftovers out of this. We need to put something here. I did help blend in. I didn't care for the stitch work on the inside as much. Um, and so I did sort of cover it up and blend it in by, you know, adding different variations of browns and golds and, um, whatnot to the inside trims to sort of decor it. But these are just a nice, you know, European lace, nice and soft that will be good for, you know, putting journal cards and stuff into it. It is 64 pages. So if you've been watching me, you know this, but we need a journal card for here. So we got to measure that one out. Um, our papers. This one I end up doing very little to it. It's more of just a writing space that's, you know, out of a different shape, right? So you've got something here. Maybe you put something here and then you write about it here. Good, great place to glue down memorabilia. Um, we did, I did put this one. This was the least of the blues, just the word memories in blue, not a big deal, but it's one of my 
pumpkin page toppers that we had decorated uh, before we started this kit. And right now I have this gorgeous um, envelope. It was probably a glassine that was, that was dyed, but it sort of glued itself together. So I probably will have to figure out a way to decorate that when I'm doing everything else. One more piece to decorate up, um, to tuck in there. But I'm not going to put anything in the back. We need something for here. Okay, there's another journal card that I need. This one, the cutest thing. I love what I did with this one. This is adorable. It is a double, the double, double tag um, that is Velcroed here on the top. So you see a button, right? But it's not only really a button. It's a Velcro that then opens it up and lets you look at this side and right on this side. So you've got a, you've got two double tag spaces attached together, right? Mm, cute. But it was sort of fluffy. So I took lace and a button and a hole punch and, and felt and our little Velcro, small Velcro pieces and made a little Velcro clasp up here so that mm, it stays together. See, now it's just, it barely pops open. And this is a great place to put it. It's super cute. Absolutely love it. So then we have this one, I showed it on a short. We have our little shaker here in the front. You could tuck something in here if you wanted to, to really hide it. But we have a nice window with some with some little bit of confetti in here. I probably got my confetti. It doesn't move around much, because you know, what are you gonna do? But we open up to the middle. This pops open, see? You get to see this with a beautiful green behind it. Opens up, and you end up with a notepad and a journal card tucked in. Ta-da, right, super cute. Love how this all turned out. And then you just tuck it in underneath the ordeal. Now this side, oh, I hate to undo it, but I guess I'm gonna have to, because if you didn't watch the short, then you don't know what's going on. So we have this one that opens up on this side, totally writable. Then you have a little tab here, and you can write on the back of this, right? It's just a cute flip up. And then we have, a, a right now we have a small tag. I might have some excess, and I'll put something else in there. But it's super cute, because it looks like a little bit like a tab. And it's just a cute little clustered journal card, journal tag, I guess, that you can write on. And there's plenty of room to add another journal card in here easily, right? But writing space, writing space, writing space, even this writing space. So we have plenty of writing space here in the middle. I will deal with tying that back up later, but we have our washi, or, or not our washi, our wax seals and laces. And then there's this little like lace tab. Isn't that cute? I just want to make a lace. Yeah, so when you see it, when you're flipping through, you're looking for your little lace. Really simple, double tag in here, or double, double tab, done a tag, double journal card, like a little booklet. Mm, I love it. So I decorated up the pocket so it just wasn't super flat. Great way to use the spaces and you can't get in, you can't really write on it. We do need a, like a, sort of a bookmark in here because it is a lot narrower than I realized, but it has a journal card. And so we'll put a wide bookmark kind of thing. My cat is driving me insane with the door. So what else do we have? Oh, then we have a double, one of our, my double corner pockets here, right? Right now with a large tag and a large journal, and a, yeah, medium to large journal card. Um, probably needs a little TLC up here. So I'll have to decide. As I'm going along and getting things finished up and fine tuning the last of the journal cards here, I'll keep going with some of our, you know, lace and our, and whatnot. So there'll be some surprises. For whoever buys it, I did turn this side of our file folder into a pocket for another journal card. Okay. So one side would have a pocket, the other side you could write on or glue down memorabilia. And then in the back, um, we have our little, our fun multi-tuck pocketed. Um, we've got some little ephemera embellishments in here. We have one journal card we do have to cut out to put in here, to go up here on this side. Again, my laces, my tabs. There's another spot for a little ephemera down here, and I have a, a double journal card again, right? A little booklet journal card. Um, yeah, I like it the other way. Um, tucked up in here, so it goes way down, but you can sort of tuck it up. I'm just loving how I just sort of got a little outside the norm, pulled the colors though, and gave us some other things to look out for fall. And then our last pages, and then the back is the same. We have another pocket, and we have more trim and um, embellishments on the back. Like I said, I didn't mind sewing it, but it didn't sew exactly where I wanted it to. So I was sort of bummed about that. It was perfect on the inside because of something, but then the back, it just had a little too much gap. And I just didn't really care for how it went. I'm going to glue this down a little bit. I didn't, wasn't sure if I was going to all the way up. 
and I'm going to make sure just the, so the pocket stays tight. So we do have things to do. Um, we're going to start with the bigger stuff, I think, and work our way back. But we do have, you know, at least, let's see, or a little taller. I'm going to get a little bit longer than that. So, you know, we need a journal card that is a little taller than this. Hopefully that's going to stay. I could even start um, penciling it in, but like, it's going to go up in that one thing. I have this up in that pocket, the comparable, the comparable um, piece that goes with this um, is what's on the top of that pocket. So I definitely want something that's a little bit more contrasty. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get, I'm going to go a little longer. I can do like something like this and tuck it into where maybe we decor the bottom portion here. So I can go this way and we get more of this, you know. So it's just sort of seeing shapes and sizes and working our way across and seeing what works. Um, so that it's really fun to do a little decorating on it and away we go. So hold on one second. Uh, my cat is totally irritating me right now. She'll scratch on everything until she gets what she wants. One sec. I know you want now. Come on. It's really hard because right now I've got two cats that can go out, one that can't. And they're all chasing, the, you know, chasing each other to get out the door. And it's like, no, no, no. Ugh. Management, breaking old habits. Okay. Um, nah, sorry. I'm like, where was I? Okay. So, yes, we need to find something for this that, like this, sort of pulls, you know, the old, some of the old elements, but pulls it in here. And we'll have to see how, how far fetched I want to go with that one. But my big things really right now is filling this one, is filling this one, right? And that reverse um, belly. Oh, and this one, I forgot about the back of that. So we, we hopefully we have little ones. We definitely need little squares and pieces to go in places. I definitely need to. Um, but I definitely want to get sort of a wide belly band bookmark type piece to go in here and that's where I'm thinking for this one is my biggest challenge um, is coming right down here so I sort of want like this um, for a nice bookmarky type feel so let's get my measuring tape I hope you're all doing really well I know I'm, I sort of seem to be jumping right in and just going for it but I'm on a tight crunch to get this video done I would have been under under the weather with weird headaches the past couple days not usually my norm, but I didn't get a lot of sleep one night, and so that definitely. So I know that I can get into here, and I can get to the other side pretty good. So whatever I put in here can't be much wider than the, between these two lines. What are we at? Oops, if I get the right end of the measuring tape. So two and a half inches gives me, a, I mean, I could go a little beyond that, but let's go for a two and a half inch wide piece. And we can make it about, let's just say, let me go seven inches, it's just a little bit above, and then I can put a tab or put fun stuff on top of it so it sticks out a little bit. Seven, seven and a half. Let's go two and a half by seven and a half. Let's make that, let's make that first cut, huh? So that's what we're doing today. We are cutting it out the master board. I sat here yesterday because I wasn't feeling great and was just like, okay. I put the rest of the ephemera into the book to see where my, t my spacing went. And then I went and, um, you know, sat here and just tried to take all those scraps. I had all that paper and scraps way up here. And, you know, and I, I have a lot left over still, but I don't. It's like all these weird little pieces, right? And it's little brown stuff that I will later stamp um, and do whatever with. But, you know, this is what I have left. And so we'll see how these pan these pieces pan out. And that's where I may cluster a little more corners. You know, that piece is still sort of doable. You know, some fun things that I might, you know, lay out and level and, and play with later if I have to. And for any fall thing, it may not be for here, but I definitely have pieces left over where I feel like I could so have a blast. And I've done that before where I've taken very interesting pieces left over and done just the most, you know, oddball journal cards. So I might do that. Hmm. I'm seeing potential. I love when I do that. Um, so yeah, we're, we'll figure this out, but... I have an idea up there. But yeah, I was trying to wear this down because there was a lot of stuff and I was just, I don't, I don't know if I didn't make any more, any more, that's for sure. Could have easily just made more, made more messes, I don't know. 
but um, I feel good that I'm down to this and I have a little bit of full pages left. I have like one full page and a couple good sized squares that, you know, are not a big deal. If I need them, I can put them in here. But um, I think we're winding down. I didn't make a bunch of pockets like I thought I would because I was like, oh, I don't have anything to fill the pockets I do have. So we're getting there. I'll probably make some just really neutral, you know, ephemera clusters or something out of those scraps later and it should be really you know easy to use up but I'm trying to get better at using up those scraps and not hoarding stuff because there's no point so two and a half inches puts me here to here a little bit of that beigeness I think but I don't know if I want to go um hopefully I'm in camera I'm going to move up just a little bit sorry guys we're going to I may have to go right back out then because I'm like I have to cut this so we'll see I got to put it on my cutter um, so we're going to go in here. We know this is two and a half over here. And let's see, how does seven and a half inches pan out? We're down way down here. That's okay. So we're down to here, which is just above the leaves, which I love. That means I have the ability to do something here, making this like the bottom. Oops. Down here. So I have like the bottom of it. I, this would make a great tag um, slot right here. And so I could decorate the top of it. That's great on the bottom on its own. So, ooh, I'm loving that. Um, it's down to two and a half inches here. So, you know what? We're going to cut right across here, all the way down. And then um, we'll cut up a little bit so I can get this piece off. So, we're going to carefully sort of start fussy cutting the things I need because the next one is this one. And I don't know if that's going to be deep enough. That would be sort of cool to have sticking out over here, the brown and the green. Um, same concept. Let's see. I'm sort of just shoving things in to see how far deep they need to be. Really tight. Three inches barely sticks out. And it gives me about a little over half an inch of whatever's sticking out. And I'm thinking, again, we're in that seven inch mark. So three by seven. Let's see. Does this by chance work for us in our favor? forever in our favor oh yeah it's over three so we have plenty there and if I cut it down here to sevens up here so oh perfect oh that'll be beautiful actually okay so my whole thing is I'm trying to cut to where I'm not cutting all the way across right with too many small pieces yet I might actually cut this all the way up because we know we do have some small squares that we need in a couple spots um so I have, a, I think I'm okay with going up here and then cutting where I need it and having this little square left over for another pocket. We have that one triangle tuck that that might work in. So, okay, I see potential. I see options. Because then what happens, I think one of these, this is going to be, this is going to, I think, end up in one of our vellum pockets. So I'm loving it. Okay. Um, sorry, give me a moment. I'm going to go cut. So I'm going to do this off camera. I'm going to cut here. I'm going to cut up here so that I can cut this here. So I have my, my skinny. I have my first major pocket with a little one left over. And then we'll see how this leftover square pans out for the other two, other two spots I definitely know I need. And then that leaves this for definitely more play for like the cover pockets and things like that. So I will be right back. Okay. So we have our, whoops, upside down. We have our tall skinny here for our cover and our cover, our, um, those are the cover for our bookmark vellum. So this is tissue, this is paper, this is, I don't think I have any cards. It's just tissue and, and paper scraps. Some of it's coffee dyed, some of it is um, prints. You even have a smidge of actual honest God printer paper in here. All right. Now I'm tempted, I don't know whether I want to tab it just a little bit. And then we're going to put stuff on top, so of course it pulls out. Now this one does have some spots that are that are sensitive, due to the backing here, um, and the line. I'm very tempted then to rip some um, coffee dyed paper on the back of this one. Same for this. This bottom is a little where the fold was when I matched the two pages up to get a longer piece to work with. I do have some. Um, what's the word? Some soft spots. I guess you would call it because we don't have a nice clean, um, you know, 
not all of it. I didn't want to, I didn't really want to cut down the middle because I thought it may take away from some spots that I wanted. But like that's so good. Oh, a lot of cleanup work. But that one's sort of cool. I'm liking the possibility of that journal card getting tucked in somewhere. Um, so let's see. We've got these two, or these three. Loving the look of that. I just love the coloring of it. Oh, who knew, right? A lot of leaves, the very fallish, all the dark colors. We've got four different leaves going on. We got brown, we got red, we've got red with orange, we've got green and purple. I mean, like, that is just yummy. And this is simpler, but we can, you know, make it really busy and half and half, and then really plain if I wanted to, and totally let that, like, the roses totally be the center of attention. So let's get a couple of these maybe worked at, and then, you know, we'll go from there. But you guys will definitely get. To see, have to see the rest of it um, on camera when I um, I'll try to do a flip through maybe of some of the pages. It's hard on Etsy, you know, 15 seconds really doesn't do a whole lot, um, which is a bummer, you know, that it's not a huge option. Okay, so what I was thinking, oh, was I knocking to you guys? I'm so sorry. Was that middle section here? Let's get the ink going too, right? Ugh, let's get our inks, let get our ink on. But hey, the weekend is almost here. I cannot believe it's Thursday already. And for most, Thursday Thursday afternoon or Thursday evening. It is getting darker here. I know, you know, we still have a good month away before daylight savings, but I was on the phone yes last night. Chew, sorry. Um, I was on the phone and it, you know, I just it felt super late and I was you know talking and I kept looking up and it's like, oh, it's getting darker, it's getting darker. And I was like, oh my gosh, I probably should off the phone. And I look up and it's like, it's only eight o'clock, but it's dark in the house. It's dark outside. And I was like, oh my gosh. So um, I was like, really? It's only eight and it's dark? So before we know it, ladies and gentlemen, our daylight savings are, well, it, most states, I guess, do still do daylight savings, ends. Um, I know a few states. My brother's state doesn't. He does, They don't do daylight savings. They just stick to the daylight savings time frame. But they don't, so they don't do what we're about to do. They don't, they don't go back. They don't, it just gets darker earlier. They don't really go, oh, let's, let's add an, let's add an extra hour of earliness to our mix. So I don't know, parts of me do better and parts of me doesn't. Like, to me, getting dark and starting dinner and it works. When it's lighter out longer, I just, um, I, I want to keep working and I forget that I need to stop and deal with dinner. That's got to be a bet for commuting, though. Commuting is going to be a little more tricky when it gets... It's going to get that point where, you know, the sun's in your eyes trying to drive, and you're like, oh, my gosh, you, the, the visor just does not do you any justice. Sorry, there's a few spots that even with, um, you know, you know the... I used a lot of the um, glue stick, but, you know, I tried to use the glitter glue when I could find the spots, but sometimes as you cut them, you don't really know where you're... Your multiple of layers aren't overlapping and gluing down until you get to that point. And that's okay. We're gonna retro, we're gonna reinforce the proper spots. All right, so this one I was thinking of tucking up here because it holds really nicely, and I'm wondering if I round the corners if that would make it a funner piece. I know I'm gonna, I can't wait to hopefully find a small piece to put in there. I have a feeling that one of our, you know, maybe duller areas or something might be a good I think I'm just gonna do a light you know ordeal I'm not gonna do too much in the corners I don't want to go too deep it's a small piece but just that little bit gives more personality and then as I'm going whether I add lace to a piece or overlap another floral or something to tie it together you know I can do something like that but for right now I'm loving that little guy and then we'll put a little we'll put a smaller rectangle square up here so happy about that and I keep undoing this yeah, I wonder why it doesn't work sometimes I'm gonna have to the problem is the top is pretty well glued in mm. I'm like come on come on come on come on come on there we go um I keep taking it keep leaving the top off it's just warm enough we we are expecting mid 80s today um it was supposed to be about mid 70s yesterday and it only got to 70 like the fog stayed in the wind came up quickly we were stoked so saying 84 to 86 today we'll see No, see that one's so this one is definitely a little too well it's right width. That's not bad either. So three and a half inches does work, but we definitely wanted a little longer. Just a little bit. But we got we got an idea going. Okay. Um but yeah, we're but tomorrow they're saying like ninety six degrees. I'm uh, I'm dying. I'm like, excuse me? 
we're, you know. All right, so let's make sure after all of that, right? We fit it in here. Ta -da! Okay, so yeah, definitely let's do a little cornering. And let's, not cornering, but let's do a little, um, we're going to make it a small tab. Tag. So there's too many letters. You have tabs and tags. Cards and, well, it's just tags and tabs I think I get confused on. It's annoying. It's like it's not a tab, it's a, you know, it's a, it's a tag. And there was a journaling tag. So, you know, when I say journaling card when I'm trying to make tags. But in reality, I mean, we try to journal on all of it, right? So not, you know, huge mishap, but. Yeah, the only thing about scrappy, doing the scrappy stuff is that sometimes you just don't get enough corners down and you don't really realize that edges are not glued down until you try to put it in a pocket. Oh, this, this paper. Oh, gosh. I did find another book. We did find another antique store in Gilroy. Um, I went to it on Tuesday, and my daughter's like, there's an antique store. And I'm like, okay. And there's all these little, it's all the cubbies. It's all the different. Like, everybody brings in their stuff, and they sort of sell it on consignment. And, um, but it was a lot of more hard, you know, antique pieces, nothing, not a whole lot of, not like a thrift shop or a, um, sometimes even like the Goodwill type shops, you know, have a little bit more fabric. There was a few pieces of clothing, but what they wanted to charge wasn't cheap enough for me to want to pull it apart. I was like, oh, you're too pretty. I wouldn't want to do that. I found one top that was really pretty lace, but I was like, no, 45 bucks. I didn't feel like pulling that apart. It's like, nope. That one someone needs to use it. It'd be, it was a gorgeous crop top, cropped jacket. It would be beautiful over a gown. I was like, oh, nope, not going to destroy that one. Well, that's too pretty. I wouldn't do that. So, um, but I, I did find some napkins. I did find some small um, linen napkins, sets of four. So I think they're going to go in one of my um, boxes. I'm putting together a vintage box find. Um, not nah, wrong thing. Not cornering it. It's all right. Um... I'm going to put together these cute little vintage box finds, and um, I needed more doilies, but I didn't, um, I somehow ran out. I don't know why. I had, thought I had two little doilies. I must have used one of them and didn't realize I'd used one of them, and so I'm like, oh no, um, and uh, so I'm, you know, without, so I had to go replace it and figure something to put in there. I found some cute little linen napkins that I think will work. So I got napkins and fabrics and some doilies and lace and other fun little vintage finds that I'm putting together as little gift gift boxes. Um, that'll be in the shop here soon, very soon. My goal is to also have that up in the shop by next week too. So there'll be some actually hand, you know, decorating up a gorgeous sunglass case um, that's really pretty, pink and whites, and putting laces in that. So that will hopefully be up in the shop next week. Uh, so we do have some pretty things. Vintage finds and de decorative, piece, and decorative pieces. You know, get that there in. So, so, great to start working on your, your for yourself, for the holidays, and presents. I think we're hoping to get some other goodies. We have a col collaborated uh, digital kit bundle. Um, with all kinds of yummy, yummy goodies to make a journal out of. That kit's coming up, so if you like pink and winter, mm, that I hope to get up. Or we hope to get up, I shouldn't say just me. That's a me and Lorette Vintage Paper Girl collaboration. Um, so my my journal kit that, you know, we worked on together to get designed. And then um, I'm inking this, even though I know I'm going to be covering some of it up with a journal card. I mean, not with a journal card. See? Here we go. With coffee dyed paper to make it a more reliable journaling space. Because um, I hate to... I mean, I can put a washi down the middle, but then you really couldn't walk... You couldn't write on it. So that's no fun. So my thought is to more... i rather rip or tear or just glue it down. I would normally not glue on glue and be... Here we go again, right? But on this one... I don't know if I could rip it all the way around carefully, haha, -ha. and not just have more issues. I love the idea of the ripped. Let's see, blue pencil, blue pencil, blue pencil. Okay, guys, do you see the blue pencil? <laughs> oh, there it is. I'm like, where is my blue mechanical pencil? I hit it. There's so much going on right now. So let's go here. Let's move it over just a little bit, and I'm gonna pretty much rip underneath or at these spots trying to um, tear and rip enough to maybe 
give us a little bit of field. Now this is going to be the hard part. I'm actually going to have to move it in once I rip it because there's no way I could just barely rip off the edge. And yeah, I could go get the deco cutter, but even that's been temperamental with little stuff. So I think that was the problem. I was trying to rip paper earlier for something and it just wouldn't work in my favor to save my life. Nope, not going to work. Mm, small edges are so hard. And if you don't really have a good grasp of the paper itself, like you can't really get a hold of it, it doesn't work. So, sorry. There we go. It's what it's for, right? Because we all got tired of trying to rip it ourselves. Okay, so let's try again. I want that edge ripped so that when it covers, it just has personality. I'll do it to the top and the bottom in a moment. Okay, so this is definitely farther in than it started. So we're going to go here. There we go. Ta-da! There we go. It'll work. A little off the top. The other thing I think is just holding down really hard right where your paper is so it stays down firm so that you can. Once we get closer, I will rip the corners off. This is where I just go, okay, let's fold and work, fold and work. I shouldn't go all the way to the top either, though. But if you follow me, you know me. I like to sort of rip things and border things and just have that feel of purpose and layers and framing and... I can't help myself. So I've got that sort of there. So let's go to the other side. Do the same thing. Sort of tear it both ways as if, but then use your fingers and just do to do, do. Get the inking in there. Keep that vintage feel by making it, you know, not perfect. Per no perfection is necessary. Beautiful, yes, in, in your own right, in your own way, but no perfection necessary. None at all. Mm. Okay, now let's see where, how far down do we need to go. The whole point of this one going a little closer to the edge because we do want to make sure that we have as much as we can sort of worked out. I want to reinforce this and make sure we get, whoops, that came way higher than I wanted, but that's all right. We have a lot of areas in this in this journal where we have these lovely ripped edges that are, you know, overlapping and wavy and of course where I don't need that to be. Oh yeah, turtle fritter. I needed it to go down further. So I digress and we're going to just glue it down. You can't see, can you? No. And why do I look like my camera got dark? Why is that? Hold on. That was just my screen went dark and I don't know why. I'm like, why did you go dark? I'm like, please tell me you guys didn't go dark. So sorry if you did. Yay, yay, yay. But I move up because I realize I'm definitely not in camera. Sorry. Trying to figure out where everything needs to go, right? So I'm just taking a master board and making the pieces work. Measuring a little bit. Cutting, covering where you need to reinforce it. Now, Gail Gustinelli, when she does a lot of this, and she, but she'll use old magazines, old book pages. Um, she will put a lot of color and, and fun, you know, printable print scraps on one side, and then she'll find the more neutral book page, you know, um, more like that one corner that we may not, you know, more light color stuff on the back side, and then decorates both sides, or she will cover it with, you know, really new, really neutral because, yeah, you want to be able to write on it, like. I think that if you're going to put a pocket or something on, on a journal card or on a page that it should be filled with journal cards that, you know, you can write on because you are now covering up a section of that paper that you can't write on. Or if the page is not writable, right, it's just too busy by putting a pocket in there, a po pocket or a tuck, it then allows you to put something that can be written on in that pocket or tuck. So the page is not wasted. It's still pretty. It's still gorgeous. It's decorated. But it's still usable. That's always a good part. So, at least that's my thought. I, you know. But yeah, there's times where yes, yeah, so if you're using a very interesting paper um, to collage on just to reuse it because it's nice and thick and it does its job, you usually have to cover both sides. So the only reason I have to cover both sides on some of these is because I do have that fold right down the middle, where the two where the two pieces of 
uh, cardstock meetup. So, but that gives us personality because we have a little tear, a little rip. It's it's darkened, but now we have something that's totally easily writable to make it a functioning nope um, bookmark slash journal tag for our slot. Okay. If I ran out of time and just absolutely couldn't get to it, I could leave it. It is decorative enough within its... This is decorative enough to where I wouldn't have to do anything else. But knowing me, I will add a little... We have some lace and some trim I think are going to be added to the top and sides of these journal cards. Just to fancy it up a little bit to, to keep with the Melva Rose feeling. Because it is very delicate. It is very... Not delicate, but it is very feminine. So we're adding hints of darker colors to, you know, just some contrast but ta-da plus you put something up here with some lace and some a tassel it's another thing that sticks out and there we go okay now let's get to mm, the front one ta-da this beauty so once I get all the things glued down we have a lovely card sticks out we'll probably round I think I'm thinking about rounding the corners on this one we gotta do some work. A little bit of TLC. But I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend planned, being the last weekend of September. That uh, sort of, to me, it's like definitely the last of summer, right? I mean, even though we know summer doesn't end officially till November, right? No. Oh, no. Yeah, no, wait. Duh. Fall's already been here. See? Hmm. I'm ahead of myself. I was trying to be all like, well, we still have time. Nope. I'm right. Fall technically arrived, what, a week ago? Haha, ha, at least by date. And September is technically about done. So, yeah, it is time to say goodbye to summer. Bye-bye, summer. Come on. Tomorrow, fine. 90 degrees. Then after that, mm -mm, I want no more. I want beautiful 70s and 50s in the night and cool air. And I want to be able to snuggle down in my blankets every time I sit down. And and underneath my, and be underneath my comforter and not overheat. Ugh. That and be able to not have my house fan on every five seconds. I was like, I would prefer not to. Can we do that? Okay, so. I'm thinking big. Mm -hmm. I think, do I want really big corners or do I want small corners? Yeah, we'll go big corners. That way it slides in and out a little easier, right? I hate to do it because I might lose some things. There's a lot of layers here, so. Or we are corner punches. and My corner punch isn't always great. If I flip it around, it might work. I did notice sometimes I have to flip my... Like, one moment it's great, and then I have to, like, flip it back around. It's like the... Yeah, it's the right side of my blade is, I think, getting dull. So, every so often, it doesn't cut like it's supposed to. And so then I get the excess paper, which is annoying. That, and I cut a lot of your guys' packaging um, with this. And so, it gets... It does. It gets when I corner pieces for the things I wrap my la our laces on and other things. It definitely gets dull. It's like using our, our round punches for a lot of things, right? So, yeah. And I have to clean it out quite a bit. I'm like, get all the stuff out. Making sure nothing's junking it up. Okay, so we have that. Now, this one definitely has an up and down. This is beautiful for the bottom. It's great on the bottom. It just sort of blends in with the coloring. So we want to do any kind of decorating. It's definitely going to be near the top corner here that's sticking out of the... Um, this one I think is going to be like lace and some kind of floral up here because it's going to be sticking outside the pocket or the tuck. So um, the tuck pocket. So yeah, we don't have to do that. But we have to do the back just like we did the other one because it's flimsy on the bottom. Now I could do, or do a partial. Now maybe I don't have to go all the way up with the... Um, coffee dyed paper. Maybe we can do that rip, rip at an angle thing. Still write it across and it helps reinforce this bottom but doesn't have to be thick all the way to the top. So maybe we'll do it that way. Let's do a partial. So it's sort of a two-tone journal card here in the back. Oh, oh my, what did I do with it? So I'm thinking we tear down and bring it down just a little. I know it's round corners, and I hate when I do that. I always, I always need to remember to do this first, and then round my corners. But I will figure out where I want it, and then I'll round the two bottom corners, I think, and go from there. So we are going to 
haphazardly rip it in that direction. And no, I've got to go in a little bit. Flip it around. A little hard to rip it when it's not where it's supposed to be, right? So go down a little bit, over, out, around, behind. Ta-da! Sure. Let's see if I did that right or whether I cut it way too short, which I did. I always do that. If you don't like that, it's not enough. I did not get it over enough. I need to get all the way over here. Here we go again, right? Okay, well, let's make do. We have scraps. Let's not waste them, right? Maybe... <laughs> yes, I am humming to myself. But I could glue that, re-rip it. But it's not quite enough, is it? Well, maybe. Do I go that way? No, I like this one because it looks like a purpose for why I'm doing it. Alright, so let's glue this together and make this work. Oh, everything else has sort of been layered together, so I, this doesn't surprise me that this would be another one of the same things. Because once I get this the right width, then I can corner, um, do the proper corner things. There we go, it's a little bit better. Yeah, it doesn't really reinforce the the seam if we don't have it over far enough. And I know that one's straight and this one isn't, and that's okay too. Hmm, because it is just what it is. There we go. I have other pieces that I did the same work with on a lot of things, so I'm okay with that. All right, so let's match the curve. Even if you don't do it with it when you want to border it, yeah, you definitely want your papers to have the same um, corner. So that way, when you put it up here, the border technically keeps going at an even pace. So that your border isn't, I don't know, unusual. If you're going to border with pages and you're going to layer them, you know, make sure everything sort of blends or goes the same direction. I don't think I'm going to do too much here because I do want you to write down and not feel like it sort of cuts in half. So in this case, I'm actually not going to. I'm only going to ink the outside edges and we're going to glue this down really well. Really, really well. Or as good as we can, right? Let's get my pin in here. If I don't, we know how it's going to go. But I appreciate you guys watching. I know I did some beginning of the week and then I was hoping for something before now, but Thursday's not bad. It's supposed to be Tuesday or Wednesday. I was supposed to put something up and I just couldn't get to it, guys. Oh, this busy schedules of the girls is definitely making it interesting. And my mom had a puppy show up on her doorstep. So they've been sort of fostering that for the moment trying to you know make sure it didn't have an owner and we can't find one that's no one's claimed it no one's no one's found it online and no one said oh wait i think it's my neighbor's dog and um we checked with the shelter they don't have any puppy or small dog missing claims so there might be a neighbor that you know saw it online and was like oh it's not mine but oh my gosh she's so cute so crossing our fingers there that that she has another little dog that she takes care of and that this would be a good fit because neither my mom or me can keep the dog so it's one thing to help foster it but it's a lot of energy and our cat our cats on both sides are not keen on dogs uh my oldest boy would not do well with the dog again he was fine with the first dog because the dog was already in the house so far you know it just adapted as we got older and got the second dog he did not care for it which was funny because I was like, well, wait a minute, you had a dog and it, bringing in a dog was not okay. A dog was already here, fine, but bringing in a dog, yeah, he did not go for that. He never could warm up to Bella, which was funny. But Bella was a lot more energy than Susie. Susie was older by the time we got Roger, so Susie was very laid back, very calm, could care less, had nothing to do with the cats. Bella, on the other hand, was younger, energetic, wanted to play. So, yeah. Our orange tabby did not care for that. So bringing in a little ball of fluff. It's not getting along with the other male cat I brought in, let alone the fact, which I know they're territorial, but still. He's young, er, by half at least, of Roger, who's the tab, orange tabby. So yeah, no, they're not doing well. So bringing, temporarily bringing, just even in poor, this poor dog is going to be inter interesting if I have to. But 
my parents can't take care of it. They've taken care of it most of the week, so I'll have to do my part if we can't, you know, can't find a home for it. But I'm really, really hoping that this neighbor of uh, my mom's is going to be the perfect fit because it would be a blessing all the way around. Okay, so there we have this beautiful tag. It's already good. Now it's reinforced, so it's not going to be flimsy. I'm going to stick in here. Okay, nice and dark and warm and yummy. And yeah, so if I put lace in a flat flower here sticking out, it'll just be a gorgeous thing. Now we have room here. Remember, we still have this potential tuck. And we'll have to see what's left over. If not, that definitely gives you room for memorabilia to tuck something else in there. I'm just going to remind us that, yes, there is something there. I want to put a whole, I don't want to put a, I don't want to put a, a punch here because that made us, I made a side, or you made a side. Glue it down. Don't worry about it, right? We don't need another... And this is nice and easy. If I don't go too detailed here, it makes it really easy to still write on that. Okay, so we've got that one done. So the next one is this. How are we doing? 46. Okay, so yeah, we'll get this last one cut and then I'll probably let you guys go. So definitely keep your eyes out. Um, I don't know if I'll do another flip through. If I do, it'll be real quick. Most of you have seen it, so I don't see you always want to go too much farther. Four inches would give us some spots that really stick out, and four inches would be spots that just barely stick out. It's the upper part, so it stops about here and goes to here. So this is about as tall as you can get, nice and tight. And that is what? Five and a half inches, let's say. Yeah. I know it says seven, it's six and a half, but 12 to six and a half is five and a half. Um, so five and a half tall by four deep, four by five and a half. Okay, let's see what four by five and a half looks like. Now that one, do I make it this baby that really sticks out or do I blend it in? I'm tempted to almost blend it in this time around, right? Doing something that, that's too tall, so I'm going to have to cut a little something off, I see, but, um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so it cut here, right? This part, green part, would just be sticking out. And you farther in you go, the more detailed, but not by much. Let's see, where's, where do we say four? Right there, right? So yeah, it would cut here. It would allow me to either decorate up here flat. I think this is coming off. I don't think this is going to stay. Nope, I have one spot. I have to let it stay. I've got to do a little gluing down. Well, the green dots would be really pretty. If, it, if this one stuck out a little bit, it would be nice. But where did we where did we say it had to cut off? Oh yeah, right where that green ends. So I have this little strip here, which is fine. We know this little bit, bit over here is gonna have a place somewhere. I got a couple spots, so mm -hmm. yeah, let's give that a shot. Okay, let's glue this back down. This is gonna go in something else, but we need to not have any white spots. We can't completely remove that. There we go. Get you all. Being glue everywhere, aren't I? That's why we have glue mats. Mm-hmm. Enchante. We must have that, right? Nice already see. It's like it always looks like beautiful like shadows, but like, nope, that's actually paper lifting. We can't have that. Do do do. Alright. Can't have lifted paper. Well, because there's always a little something where the glue stick just doesn't hold or you know, something weird. If you just start testing areas and you start laying down glue. You just didn't quite get those edges, you know. All right, so let me, one last quick pause. Let me go cut this down four by five and a half. And then we can eyeball how it fits in there and then I'll let you guys go. Oh, one second. Okay, so we have this cute little piece. Don't know what we're gonna do with it, but you know me. I will probably corner it and I will probably put it in something. Oh, no, I think it's too, I'll find a spot, okay. So this lovely baby, I'm thinking, is going in here. It's neutral, it, you know, but it has the green that pulls from these guys. We have our two things. We have the orange that looks good with this. So I think a lot of things are going to be rounded. I have no problem, but I think we go smaller rounded on this one. I don't want need it to be too obvious, but I do want it to soften it up. Plus, it makes it it makes it um, easier sometimes to uh, tuck a card into a pocket when the corners are rounded, because then it doesn't catch on everything. Those sharp corners don't catch on whatever maybe in you know sort of getting caught up on the inside of the uh, pocket. Sometimes we have layers in there and don't realize that to create that pocket we might have created you know things to get caught up on. No. 
So this is perfect paper. That's why we put it on the construction paper so that things wouldn't get torn or ripped because that piano paper not may not have been, you know, withstand on its own. So nice thing is this is nice and clean back here. So all we have to do is ink around the edges to, ink, to fancy it up and make it a little bit more vintage. And then, you know, it can be it's totally writable. Now the only reason I decorate this, we definitely decorate it flat with a with a word. A um, little bit more clustering you normally do, but maybe we'll do some really some of our flatter mesh and a word or something over it, um, so I can just tuck it in, and it's a nice flat card, easy to write on. Now it does block all of our pretties, but that's okay. It's nice and clean. So what you write on it, yes, you will see it when you flip the page. You can you can see what you wrote, so that stays nice and pretty. When here you can actually sort of see, almost see what you wrote. Um, so it makes it a nice little w windowed pocket type of feel, and what you're doing. So that is all good to go. And then that just let me, I want to look at something. Yeah, it's too tall for that. I make it go sideways with it. It could just be something that's tucked in like that, but that seems a little odd. Nope, nope, nope. Let's see. I think all of these, I mean, I could tuck it in with this, you know, it's a weird shape. I mean, that's not a weird shape. It's not, it's very doable, but I feel like, yeah, it's, could be folded and made it a tiny little booklet or I think it's a cute piece of ephemera. Definitely somewhere else cute. So I think it's too small for a tuck in the front. Oh, but I see a possibility. Yeah, it get, it get lost in there. But what I did just see, hmm, I wonder it could be the base, the base in the beginning to some decoration here. I could put some, bind, I could glue down some piano paper and I could do some edging and I could do some layers and so maybe Wait, this might be helpful to decorating up, you know, this lovely pocket, this lovely pocket that's going to need a, you know, we'll put paper on the back. We'll put some um, coffee dyed paper on the back to so make it writable. Or we're going to take a bag that sort of got glued down. We'll reinforce it. And uh, yeah, that one could even go up there, do a little, do a little work here and reinforce that top. So, okay, well, no, not going to probably go here. We'll use some of those. We'll keep using scraps, right? And we're going to reinforce this cute little baggie and we're going to get it back up here. So just when I think I'm done, I found another piece that needs to be worked on, right? That one does feel like, even at its angle, it needs a little more glue. I hate to have it stick up anymore, but I definitely feel like, mm, nice why we put paper clips with everything. But all right, so we got to make that. That's filled. That's filled. Let's see. So the only thing I don't have left to fill... That little corner up there. Oh, and we have to do, I don't know which one, this one. So I can either go neutral, right, and just do where it tucks up where you see a little bit of this, which goes with that. We can go really, it's gonna be hard to cut anything small out of this and want it to be vibrant, right? So we tuck it up, we could see this, right? Or either way, however you put it, you see, you know, you see some of that. I wish you could like take it, you know, you need to take a shot, a visual and do a, a faux cut before you cut it and see which one works best. Sorry, I, this tissue is not staying down. Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, that was the other thing I was trying to remember. Like, I know most of the time when you do collage and you don't need it to distress the edges of your elements before you put them down because they're, they're collaged right you you ink the rest but i love the dimension when we do ink even your scraps you ink the edges before you put before you put it down it gives us more shadows it gives it more of a, a quilted um feel i guess when you're when you're more of a fabric quilt when you're when you're i don't know i can't explain it i just i there's something about inking some of your pages um your scraps before you put them down that just adds another layer to the collage work um, so that n not everything feels really flat. You can't ink everything, of course. You, really, you, know, you can't like ink your tissue or stuff like that, but where you can, you get that shadowed effect and you get that little bit more dimension when you ink your, even you ink even your scraps before you glue them down. Once you've figured out, you know, the shape and the size, you know, go ahead and ink it and then glue it down. Even if stuff lays over, it's okay. So it's just this one's left. Um, 
I hate to go neutral. I almost feel it's like if I do this, it's almost too neutral. Because I love that pop of green there. And that is pretty. But we remember we were debating on letting... We didn't put anything on this page because... Or this area because I was going to make sure that this is what stuck out. And I have a feeling it's going to be... It's going to be this. This is what I want to use. So we're going to go just shy of that. And we're going to go to the edge of this one. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that'll be it. So thank you so much for watching, liking, and loving. We took our master board. We started cutting out the pieces we need to fill in the gaps of the puzzles. The puzzles. That's what it feels like, right? The pockets that we have left. So that way I know what little bit of decorating I need to do. We got one more piece here. One more journal card to make. One more journal tag to make. Ugh. Um, and whatever pieces are left over, I will definitely then cut down and we will put them in the pockets in the front and back. Um, I'll turn them into tags and journal, rounded car, corner journal cards so that we have plenty to write on besides the 64 pages that are throughout the book that allow us to write and journal through October and November. And this is something that, uh, yes, uh, with all my might, we'll have up and ready to go. See, you leave it open, it stays open. Once you tie it, then it stays closed. It's great. Um, the goal is to have this up for sale on October 1st. It will ship out within one to three days of once it's purchased. If you have any desire on this one and would like it, you're welcome to message me on Etsy and let me know if you want your autumn journal. Um, and I can get you a price, but um, ahead of time, between now and uh, the 1st of October. Um, but yeah, the goal is to get it out to you right away. So you have all of October and November, because um, I'll set it priority, um, to enjoy it and really, you know, do your memory keeping as we get into all of our favorite fall events and traditions with your family and loved ones, co-workers, whatever, and uh, you can just write it all down. So I love you all very, very much, and I'll talk to you all real soon. Bye-bye.